Hello Sagittarius, this is your reading for November. I hope you're doing great. If you're new, hi, my name is Amber. If you're returning, thank you so much for being here. I'm humbled. <laughs> really, I am. So, um, like if you get a message from me that you need for November. Share if you know someone who needs the message. We do love to share healing. And subscribe if you want to see more from me. Thank you. <laughs> um, so the first thing that I got for you, Sagittarius, when I picked up the cards was, um, I feel like you're dealing with past energy. You're dealing with hurt, possibly. You're dealing with letting something go. And it's, it's very much like you're fighting it. Um, it's definitely going against what you want or what you would like to happen. So, um, I feel like that's where we're going to start. We'll see. I'm going to pull. Okay. So, I'm going to pull cards uh, to get the general energies for you, Sagittarius. Please, Spirit. Guardian Angel, Divine Energy, what do you have for Sagittarius? What would you like for them to know, pay attention to, or be aware of at this time? One more card for Sagittarius Spirit. Ooh. All right, then. You're about to move on here shortly. The incense went out. Okay. So the first card we have is Broken Heart. So you're at the end of something. You're finally letting something go. The fourth chakra here, 11. Um, Archangel Raphael this is what I get from this um, some of you are going to try this again to see if it works okay at the beginning of November you have an open heart you're trying to remain confident you're trying to heal the situation I feel like you want to heal it you want to see if there's a way that you can make things happen for you I don't feel like it's going to work out with a broken heart being here. Um, I just don't. I just don't feel like it's going to work out. But I also feel like when you realize that this is good for you, this separation, the breaking up, the releasing of someone, you're going to open up another door for romance for yourself. This could be someone coming in. This could be you now realizing that you need to be open to find better love or new love after holding on to this. Um, situation okay Sagittarius so we're going to jump into the cards for you spirit this is for Sagittarius Sagittarius for November three of cups we have three of cups I mean eight of cups eight of cups there could be somebody else involved um, eight of wands page of pentacles yeah, I see what's happening. Okay. And then we move forward. Eight of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles. Page of Swords. Oop. King of Swords. Nine of Swords. Two of Pentacles. And every card in the deck. No, not really. We have Lovers. And we have some Renegades. Death, Empress, and the Ace of Swords. This is the last energy, so I'm going to put them all together. And then on the bottom of the deck, we have the Eight of Swords and the star card all right Sagittarius let's get into this okay so the first thing that I notice here with the eight of swords and the star card you are really trying to make a situation work okay 
you know that you need to let it go. There's an idea you have in your head that you should let this go, but it just doesn't feel like you're ready to, okay? You feel like your hope and joy is here. You feel like this was a wish fulfillment for you. Um, you know, and I, and I feel like you're trying to make it work because you're so drawn to this thing or this situation with this individual. You may be dealing with an Aquarius, a Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius. Okay, that's overall energy. All right. So I see you have been faced in the past with walking away from with from a situation. I feel like you really thought about it. You were really going to do it, and then communication started to pick up. Or they started to say the things that they needed to say in order to keep you in this situation, okay? Um, I feel like you tried to move things to a new level. Um, you tried to move things to a more committed level or they tried to promise you something of commitment. You really want to believe this or you did want to believe this level of commitment they were promising you. But I feel like you're watching their words. You're paying attention to what they're saying. I feel like they're offering you big things. That you, can poss you can't possibly promise these things. But I feel like there is a promise of these big things. And because you have this hope in this situation, you really want to hold on to that. But when it comes to actually putting the work in and you seeing if the things can actually happen or seeing if they're going to follow through, you're not seeing that. Honestly, Sagittarius, it's like you don't know if you want to even keep holding on to this anymore. You do have hope. But you're also smartening up enough to know, like simultaneously, you're healing yourself while you're trying to heal this relationship. So you're starting to see the truth in the situation. You're starting to see the other side of the story. You know, like, of course, all these things can happen. You can have faith. Things can be wonderful. But you're also seeing that they're kind of pipe dreams at the same time. You could have met someone new. And this person is very adamant about you, uh, very serious. They may have offered you a date or some or some of your attention. This person has watched you and they know that they want you at this point. This is coming somewhere in November. You're worried about leaving this other person behind in order to move on to something new. You're doing a lot of watching, Sagittarius. A lot of light communication so you can figure out how to make a decision and what to actually work on. You're juggling two different people, maybe your work life and this relationship, trying to juggle finances, and it's causing a lot of burden in your life because of it. Sorry, something was in my eye, and it's still there. Okay. I do feel like you're worried about moving forward. It's mostly because inside you have made this promise to yourself about the person you were with. Or maybe a promise to them subconsciously you know that you're going to work on this but something is telling you that there's something better out there or that you want something more stable or that there is an offer out there for you this could be an actual physical person so I feel like that at the end when you start paying attention to this person's actions and the truth of the matter you're going to decide that you want to find the best thing that nurtures you. Okay? What makes you happy? What would be your best choice in, in love and life and nurture your family and yourself and what you want for the future? 
And I do feel like you're getting clear about the things that you need to cut out or this person that you need to cut out. Because you notice that you have to restart your life basically by cutting out a part of your life and rebuilding that part in order to have what it is that you truly want. And that's what you're going to do, Sagittarius. Okay? So let's do some clarifiers here. The first card to fall out was uh, Justice in Reverse. So you're fully aware that there is an imbalance here in the relationship that you're in. There could be some law issues as well, okay? And you're tired of fighting for this. You're ready to, I feel like you're ready to drop it. Okay? I feel like you've tried to fix a situation or kind of be there, like be someone's ride or die. And that's kind of what's holding you holding you down right now in this but see the your the relationship is actually being worked on right so I feel like what's holding everything together now is just hope and faith but the actual relationship itself is not being built here all right so let's talk about the eight of cups mmm chaos you were ready to walk away from the chaos at the beginning of this month you had a choice. You're, 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 you're leaning towards the choice of leaving it alone, right? You're thinking about it. You're figuring out what would be best for you, what would be best for your family, what would be best for what you want to build. Emotionally, there is a lack of satisfaction here. Okay. I feel like you're ready to leave the chaos behind. You're looking for something more smooth, but at the same time, you want to be happy. So that's that's where you are. It's like, should I stay with this or should I move forward in my future? On the Eight of Wands, you have the Three of Cups in reverse. You may have found out about a third-party situation or that someone is communicating with another person, which is, <laughs> yeah, there it is. You've definitely found out something. Either this person is out playing the field, having a good time, or they're either playing you, okay? And it's important for you to listen to their communication. Listen to how they communicate with you and not just what you want to hear from them, okay? You know, listen to everything they're doing, their actions, their words, um, you know, things like that. I couldn't think of anything else. <laughs> But pay attention to how they're interacting, all of that, okay? Because it means something right now. Page of Pentacles moving forward. Someone has uh, promised you they were going to move in. They're going to be with you. You're going to be married. Everything's going to be great, okay? Some of you may have met someone, okay, that, that wants to do these things with you, a new person. For some of you, this is a new person you met that wants to do this with you. And you have to make a decision if you want to walk away from what it is that you're building with this individual that's not really doing those things. Either that or they're making this promise to you um, to make you feel like things are safe so you can continue to move forward. Or this is you trying to get this person to promise these things to you because you want this sort of stability. Okay, so the Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, you're thinking about working on a new love. Whatever this is, this hurt you. This is one of those things where you were like, I was down for you, and then this happened. You were working on new love, yeah. And something happened. Something happened that made you emotionally not happy. It's like you realized that you were holding on tightly to something that needed to be let go. You know, something that needed to end, something that needed to run its course. This is a time where you start facing that and you start thinking about that. It's a hard time. On the page of swords, you have the empress and the upright. Yeah. And the sun card. Ooh, this is this is what I want you to do with that. Pay attention to this person's actions. 
the people that you're interested in, whether this is a new person or the old person, pay attention to their actions and what they say, how they interact with other people, you're going to get your answers, okay? This is about paying attention, paying attention to how your children, if you have children, interact with this person, how they uh, talk about your children, because right now what they're doing is manifesting what they're going to bring into your life all of these things okay because I feel like some of them will be okay and then there's just one thing that you're gonna be like mm, I don't know but because you're so in like or in love or infatuated you kind of uh, don't pay attention to that so this is a time to pay attention to that okay king of swords yeah assess what it is that you're working on in November, you're really going to start paying attention to what you're holding on to, right? You're going to see that something that you're holding on to, nothing is coming out of it, but you have opportunities for other things around you. You don't have to stay in this. You don't have to do anything, okay? Yeah. You're worried about the promise that you made to someone, and I do, I feel like there's a new opportunity for love. I feel like there's a new friendship. There's something. Or either you're trying to open yourself up to something new, okay? But you're making the judgment. You feel worried because you don't want to be that person that left someone behind when they needed you or whatever. Or when you were supposed to be down for them. But you have to think about yourself, Sagittarius. Yeah, because on the two of pentacles, you have the page of pentacles. So this could be someone making an offer. I feel like, <coughs> excuse me, you're really thinking about where the promises you made to them. You don't want to be that person that just stopped. Instead of working on things, you just stopped. Because you are a person that wants commitment. You are a person that wants something stable. And you don't want someone to not see you that way. To just leave somebody when they're down or to leave somebody instead of working on something. But it's getting to the point now that you need to have something that's not superficial. Something that's not going to be stuck and something that's actually going to progress. Someone that actually wants to progress with you, right? That's what you want. Yeah, I feel like this time of you juggling and figuring things out... Okay, you're going to figure out what it is that you want to do. You definitely are. Because you're seeing that there's a there's some sort of problem where someone's not giving you enough attention or they're not nurturing the way they should. And that's the shock that happens. And that comes from you paying attention to the, the signs, the red flags, okay? Yeah, I, I, you're go you want to choose love for yourself. You want to be nurtured. You want the ultimate relationship. The thing is, you're a nurturing person that needs to receive that sort of nurturing back. And if you're not getting it, you're not in the place that you should be. And this is why you, you're getting clear. You're getting clear. You're leaving something behind. You're rebirthing your, your mind, your situation, your thought process on how you think about love and what you bring into your life. And you're letting that go. You're untrapping yourself from this idea of faith, needing to hold on, needing to be somebody's ride or die when they're not doing the same thing for you, okay? So, we're going to go into your oracle cards. Hello, Sagittarius. <laughs> so, these are your oracle cards. We're going to start with the Romance Angels for November. Spirit, what do you have for Sagittarius for November? And then we have the Queen of the Moon Oracle. Okay, so we have Retreat. It's time for you to disconnect from the world. Reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. And in the center, we have Engagement. Your love life is ascending to a new level of commitment. Okay. Self-reflection. Um, what number is that? Number 17, which is the 8. That's about moving forward. Um, we have pleasure, the number 9, ending something for yourself. 
Um, same thing to me as self-reflection, pretty much. And then we're going to do two cards from the soul, the soul purpose, health. I honor the physical vessel that enshrines my soul. And we also have, for you Sagittarius, denial. I acknowledge my fear and I replace it with the insight of awareness. All right. Again, 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 pay attention to your partner. Pay attention to how they're acting. Pay attention to their words. Pay attention to what it is that they're trying to do, okay? Not that they're just trying to come back and, and, and get you back where you were or get on your good graces after their actions or their words doesn't reflect so, okay? So I feel like this is your time to not spend some one-on-one -on -one time with them, but really listen and process what is happening in your relationship. Because I do feel like they are coming back to try to start something new with you, okay? Or to rekindle or to make things better. It almost feels like to me like they're trying to hurry up and fix something before you make your realization. But you want something more, okay? And this is what's happening is you're reflecting on what it is that you're bringing into your life. What this relationship is reflecting. What's coming from it? Where is it going? what is the progress showing you what are this these person's priorities towards you or this relationship so with the pleasure being the nine I, I feel like I need to hold this card up it's about getting to the nitty-gritty of the situation like are you truly happy or are you just doing this because you feel like this is what you should be doing is this the wish that you just wish to happen or is this what you really want into your life? But the thing about nines is it's about putting things to an end. So so if you have the feeling like you're questioning whether or not Sagittarius that you should stay or go, um, you probably should go. Because I feel like you have to undoubtedly feel like this is what you want to do. This is how you want to devote your energy and your time. Okay, um, but I feel like there's too much questioning here or something isn't right. Something isn't good for your health or you're trying to hold things together the best you can. And it's just not, it's not flowing the way it should, which I'm hearing is a sign. Okay, it's like pay attention to those red flags. There's a sign that something isn't flowing the way that it should be. You are afraid to leave. You're afraid to let this go, okay? But it's time for you to be aware. It's like you need to be spiritually aware of what's here. Spiritually aware of where you're going. Spiritually aware of what you're bringing into your space. This is very much a clearing energy, but it has to be your decision. It's like you have to do some mind transformations and then make a decision for you and it doesn't feel like it's going to be easy because you've kind of already committed yourself to something without thinking it through all the way okay so thank you Sagittarius and if you need a private reading the links in the description box below or you can just go to lives with an s in sync.com I love you so much bye bye